MT4 and the computer software can seem intimidating in the beginning, but once you learn where all of the controls are, it's really just as simple as trading on the phone. So let me walk you through it. Now right here in the upper left hand corner, you're gonna find this window showing the bid and ask prices for all the currency pairs you have here on your quick reference list. Similar to the quote screen on your mobile MT4 app, you'll be able to keep an eye on the ask and bid prices all in one place here. Quick Navigator will help you switch in between the accounts you have logged into on your software. So if you have multiple live accounts and demo accounts, you'll be able to switch between them right here in the lower left-hand box. Your charts are gonna be here. So instead of looking at one at a time like you do on the phone, you can actually see four where there are some other options. If you wanna look at the windows the other way, you other ways you'll just click on the window tab up here to customize the way the charts are organized. Now you see that I have three charts set up on the candlesticks and this one here is still on the bar. So I just wanna click on this window, click charts. And on charts you have your customization for the chart itself, you can change two candlesticks. Change your time frames here. And you can zoom in to make the candles easier to read, like so. So similar to your trade screen or the trade tab on the mobile app, you'll just click the trade tab down here where you'll see your balance, your equity, and your free margin. Of course, when you don't have any trades open, all three of these are gonna be the same. But as soon as you open a position, you're gonna see your margin and your free margin come up. And your equity is either gonna go down or up in reference to any pips you've collected or drawn back on. So your equity is always gonna be your balance plus or minus your profit. And then the margin is based on the leverage. So you can look into that as well. Your history. Just like the history tab is gonna be down here in account history. So you'll be able to scroll down and up and see all of the trades you've closed out and what the results of them were, date and time. You can open up a new chart from your file tab as well as the open an account button. This is where you will add additional accounts, either demo or live. If it's a demo, you'll click existing account for a demo. If it's live, you'll click existing account for a live server. Now your view tab, This is where you're going to either you, you can close out some of these windows if you don't like to use them, as well as some other options like the data window you can include. So wherever you scroll over the chart, you're gonna see some detailed information Your insert tab here, this is where you can insert 
all of the indicators that help you read the charts and patterns. You want to learn how all of these indicators work and see which ones work to the best of your advantage for the strategy that you use. Indicators can make you a lot of money. You can insert lines, draw lines to draw patterns on the chart that you spot, channels. A lot of things you can put on the chart to help make you money. Now your charts tab, again, that's where you will switch between candlesticks, bar chart, a line chart, time frames, but you also have your time frame option here in the toolbar. Switch between whether you're looking at short term, long term, and your time frame, each one just stands for how many minutes or hours. So M1 would be one minute chart, M330 minute chart, H1 one hour chart, H4 daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart. Whatever the time frame is, that's how long it takes to complete one candlestick or a week. Zoom in, zoom out, grid, tool section. I showed you how to place a new order. You are good to go. So play around with these tools. Remember where everything is. Learn where everything is. Next training video.